<laughs> what up there anime and manga communities this is your boy Chidi or Chidia and I'm here today to talk about One Piece chapter 751 now this week's chapter of, of One Piece was epic I'm sorry I'm not, I know I'm like all over the place and you know energetic but this oh dude, my boy Sarbo them, them talent them fingers oh, okay so a few things I want to talk about the reason I didn't do the, the, the Let's Talks like I usually do this week, uh, I had my high school graduation and some other things that took place this week, and it just it wasn't any capability or the mood to really do them. And on top of that, um, so many came out and like they threw off my schedule, or whatever. But on another on another note, uh, I did not write down any points like I usually do to keep give myself guidelines here on where I, what I'm about to talk about because I don't give a shit right now and I uh, just don't care. So. Um, maybe I'll do it. I'll start it again next week, but that's not right now. It's too I'm backlogged, and I just eh, you'll get what you get. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. <laughs> so, on to the chapters at hand. So we start off with One Piece chapter 751. I mean, start off we One Piece chapter 751. Let's get started. So it starts off with my boy Sabo. I can literally yo, I, I, yo the fire really suits him. I, just, I don't know if it just feels like me, but the fire, the Mare Mare no me really suits Sabo. And dude, he uses like these freaking, um, what are they called? He uses his fingers, right? And they're just ridiculously strong. I've been seeing jokes all across YouTube about, you know, Sabo fingering women, but let's be real here. If Sabo were to do that, they would all be dead. Sabo needs to not do that. Like, he would need to be fingering niggas like Big Mom to be a <laughs> Like with monstrosities like that, for that to even be cool, and so Sabo's just rocking the Marines, and then Vice Admiral Bastille comes in with his sword, and Sabo's like, "My fingers are dragon's talons," and he grabs the freaking sword and crushes it in his hands, and he's like, "It renders the what is it, the arrogant, useless, or something like that." And Sabo, yo, he's looking like like there was this one pair where dude was looking mad, like evil. I don't know what it was, but he was looking. Oh man, he was like, oh yeah, it was when he grabbed Admiral Bastille by the head and he was like, I could crush even a human skull like it's nothing. And his face when he said that, it was like, dude, oh man, he means it. So then my boy Fuji Tour comes in and starts dropping meteors on the area, but the meteors are being sliced up by the birdcage. And they're just dropping everywhere, killing thousands, mass deaths everywhere. And Sabo's just chill because he's, you know, made of fire, so, you know, Mary Mary know me. And I don't know if it was just me, but the artwork seemed kind of weird from time to time to time. Was that just me? I don't know, like, just on certain panels, it just seemed, like, kind of weird, but whatever. And so, Sabo's saying that, you know, no matter where he goes, he's gonna back up Luffy because he doesn't want to lose him like Ace, which I can understand that. My question is, I wonder why Sabo wasn't allowed to go to the War of the Best to go fight there. You know what I'm saying? Because I know he must have wanted to go help out Ace. Or maybe he just didn't know, like Luffy did. But I'm I'm pretty sure he had to, because the War of the Best was like one of the biggest moments in the series. I, I don't know. But what ends up happening from there is uh, Sabo and Fuji Tour end up clashing. And I hope none of you guys really want to see this fight go all the way on. Like, I hope no one wants to see this fight. Like with any substance this is going to be the end of the fight here there were we may see like little panels here and there of them clashing but we'll never actually see the fight because that's not how oda does it oda never does it like that and it's sad but it's just what oda does like i wouldn't i wouldn't even mind like if the fight didn't have a conclusion but if we got to see more of it you know what i'm saying that's all i want and from there we go back over to my boy luffy who's you know going trying to get up to where flamingo is and the other, you know, Ka Cavendish, Chin Zhao, that their group makes it up to where Luffy is and they get ahead of him. And the Funk Brothers have like this oh, this area like, oh, come on over here, Straw Hat, there's a, there's, a, there's a shortcut, come on. And of course, Luffy being the idiot that he is, it's like, okay, I'm gonna go. And you know, the, the Funk Brothers probably seem like they're worth the trust or whatever. It, it, basically what ends up happening is, Law and Luffy hear from Robin and the and the gang, and Robin lets him know we have uh, Law's key, and we'll meet you at the uh, what is it like the Field of Flowers, and when they get into that a whole uh, what is it that cave entrance that secret passage that the Funk brother showed him, Doflamingo is there waiting for him, so it's an ambush, and well I guess we'll see what happens from there. That's pretty much 
the One Piece chapter. Sorry if I'm talking too super fast, but uh, I'm just trying to get this done because I still have to do the Hunter Hunter. Uh, let's talk, and that one's gonna be long. Well, maybe not super long. No, they might. I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, that would be the uh, One Piece chapter for this week. Uh, I, I'm hyped. I mean, I was hyped from the Sabo stuff because I really like Sabo. Sabo is really cool. Like, and you know what? This man, on a quick side note, I wonder how strong Ace would be right now if he was still alive. Like, really think, uh, you know, Ace would be devastating if he was still alive at the moment. Because I think out of all the siblings, Ace was the strongest. Like, you, it went Ace, Sabo, and then Lucy. From what I remember, even in the flashback when Ace and Sabo fought, you know, like the little training sessions, Ace had more victories than Sabo, and Sabo and Ace had way more victories. Like, I don't even think Luffy won one. So, Sabo and Ace were almost about equal, but Ace was stronger. So, uh, it would be interesting to see how ridiculously overpowered Ace would be. Oh, I wish Ace was still alive, man. He was a cool character, but whatever. Um, yeah, so that's the One Piece chapter for this week. I'll, you know, I guess that's the end of it. You know, not really much left to talk about. So, I'm going to go ahead and go this way. And I'm going to catch y'all, the anime and all community, later. This is your boy Chitty Yeah signing out. Chitty Yeah or Chidia, whatever it is you want to call me. And please make be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is that you do to spread word. And I'll catch you guys in the flip, man. Uh, peace out, anime and manga communities.